It's just been a long time since anyone's been really kind to me. Well, you better just get used to it. And you know what? When we get back, I'm going to get you together with a really nice doctor from the hospital. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Dr. Jones, this is my nice drug addict prostitute friend from prison. No, Dr. Jones, this is my friend. She's the nicest, funniest, kindest person I've ever met. Abigail, if you make me cry again, I'm gonna have to hit you. Well, I'll have to take my chances. Okay, break up the love fest. You. Get to the infirmary. I'm not sick. No? You're looking a little red in the face. Why don't you have the doc have to take a look at you? Look, I'm not going anywhere, all right? You want to go on your own, Steen? Or you want an armed escort? I'll be okay. Excuse me. Move it. Watch it out. I'm sorry. Alone at last. I'm not afraid of you. Ooh, when did we get so brave? I'm getting out of here soon, and then you won't be able to talk to me ever again. Well, congratulations. I guess I'll have to work fast. What do you mean? Tomorrow night, when you're done with dinner after the KP, meet me in the laundry room. No, there's no way I'm going to do that. I'd think it over if I were you. I have thought about it. It and I. The answer is no. Tomorrow night in the laundry room, be there, or your husband won't be finding you so desirable anymore. I appreciate your offer, Dinah. I do, but I, I need a little bit more time just to figure out what's going on here. Yeah, I know. Of course you do. But thank you for being my friend. Well, let's face it, Hart. You'll never be just a friend to me. <clears throat> no matter what I say to you or to myself, I'm always going to feel... I can't believe I'm doing this. Doing what? Humiliating myself. I'm not humiliating yourself. It's really strange to be in this position with you, you know? I want to touch you, and I know that I can't. But at the same time, it feels good. I mean, I, it feels like a weight has been lifted because I can stand back from everything and I can sort of look at it. I can look at things the way they are, and I can look at things the way they were. I realize now how much I took you for granted. I didn't know what I had when I had it. Oh, Dinah. No, 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 no. Let me just finish. Oh, boy. I must have told you a million times how grown up I am, but I don't think I realized it until just now. I mean, I'm actually able to tell you that I love you as much as it hurts, and I don't expect you to do anything about it. I mean, come on, that's big for me. And so I really want you to know. As long as I live, you are always gonna have someone who loves you. And wants the best for you. And that means going back to Cassie then. That's what I want for you. I can't, I can't do this anymore. I can't. Cassie. The heart you... believes the worst. And I can't convince him otherwise, you know. He thinks you and I are having an affair. And I had to let him believe that. He doesn't want anything else to do with me, and I can't blame him for that. I want to tell him the truth. Look, I realize this is all my fault. Mm -hmm. I don't want your sympathy, Josh. I just want this to be over. Don't you think I want the same thing? Then please let me tell him. 
If you want to tell them, you, you're a grown-up. You, you can do that. There's Don't nothing... do that. What? Don't do that because, you know, I would never say a word unless you said it was okay. But how can, I, how can you expect that I would say that? I guess you can't. So I'll see you later. Cassie. What? Wait. Wait, just, wait, just wait, wait. For what? Just what else can we stop, talk about? Okay? You love him, right? Do I really have to answer that question? And you trust him? Yes, I do. I mean, you really trust him? As much as you can trust a person, I trust him. Then tell him. Do you mean it? Yes, I do. Are you sure? Yes. Earlier, I was at Lewis Oil with Billy, and I wanted to tell him everything so I know exactly what you're feeling. I put this whole thing into motion. But there's no reason you should have to suffer because of my short-sightedness. So you go, you find heart, and tell him the truth. <sighs> Please, just do me a favor, okay? Ask him not to tell anybody else. I would never tell him. If I thought he would, I would never do that. Okay. Thank you. You could talk to Joshua. He's always respected your opinion. So you, you, you don't really think that there's something going on between Josh and Cassie? Well, she's your sister. She loves you. She'd never do anything to come between the two of you. Uh, I guess you're right. I know I'm right. Trust me. It just seems to me that Joshua and I never have any time alone together anymore, and we hardly ever... Well... You know. Oh, sweet. Look, you guys just need to get, um, you know, kind of reacquainted. Well, I've been back for quite a while, and we seem to get further and further apart. And you know how much I need to be close to someone. Every, what, what are you doing? Well, we used to be close. You used to love me. Oh, sweetie, I'll always love you, but not this way. Don't you find me attractive anymore? I know how you can even ask me that question. You know you're one of the most beautiful people in the whole world. Hey, there really is something going on here, isn't there? No, oh, it's just that sometimes Joshua acts like I don't even exist. Well, people have their moods. Everybody does it. Don't you for one second ever doubt Josh's love for you. Oh, it's just that I'd like to be with a man who showed it once in a while. Hey, there is something wrong here. More than just you and Josh having a spell, isn't it? And look, uh, you know you can trust me, right? Mm -hmm. So why don't you please just tell me what's going on? You see, Doctor, you may 